Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to find the combination to a master lock. Looks like one of these. Now to start off, you want to put this on zero and pull on the loop, the U loop thing. And you want to turn your numbers counterclockwise. And you'll notice it stops between two numbers. In this case, it stops between 2.5 and 1.5. So you want to write the number in between those, which is 2. So once you write that down, you want to loosen this a little, the loop thing, and turn it counterclockwise again. You'll notice it stops between 6 and 5. So you want to write down 5.5. So here are all the numbers I listed out for my master lock. So what you want, so what you should end up with is five whole numbers and seven point five numbers. You don't want your point five numbers. Just cross that out. You want your five whole numbers. So you write those out. So you should have. I I ended up with two, twelve, two, thirty-two, and thirty-nine. So these numbers, as you can see, they all end in twos, except for one number, thirty-nine. This is the third number to your combination. So my third number is 39. So now what you will want to, what you want to do is take 39 and divide it by 4. You always divide it by 4. So 39 divided by 4 goes in a maximum of 9 times with a remainder of 3. So now, the important thing here is your remainder. So you take your remainder and you add 4 to it until you get to the highest possible number in your combination, which is 39. So it goes from 0 all the way around to 39. So you have 3, 7, 11, 15, 19, 23, 27, 31, 35, and 39. So you should end up with 10 numbers. The more I see, the less I know, the more I like to let it go. Hey, oh, whoa, whoa. So now to find the second uh, possible numbers, you take your remainder, and here's an important key to remember. Just always remember this. Whenever you divide by 4, you can end up with a remainder of 0, 1, 2, or 3. So if your remainder was 0, just remember this. Your number you would want is 2. If your remainder was 1, the number you would want is 3. If your remainder was 2, it would be 0. If your num remainder was 3, it would be 1. So this is just a key I just need to memorize. So our remainder here in this case was 3, so we would use the number 1. So we take 1 and we add 4 to it until we get to the highest possible number in a master lock. So it would be 1, 5, 9, 13, 17, 21, 25, 29, 33, and 37. So these numbers are all the possible numbers for your second number in the combination. So 
So now that we have the first number and the second number and your third, all you have to do now is try them all. So all you have to do now, you take your combination lock and it's just trial and error. So we are going to start with 3, then 1, then 39. So in order to work a master lock, what you have to do, first you have to clear it. So you turn it multiple times clockwise, then you land on your first number, 39, or 3, sorry. So we find 3, we land on it. Then we turn it counterclockwise past the second number. And on the second time around, we land on our second number. And then we just turn it clockwise to 39. So that's not it. So if we try 3, 5, and 39, so we clear it. And we land on 3. Turn it counterclockwise past the second number, in this case 5, and land on it the second time. Then turn it clockwise back to 39. That doesn't work. So I tried this earlier, and in my, combina in my combination was 19, this number, 33, and of course, 39. If we try this, turn it clockwise, we clear it, and on 19, and turn it counterclockwise past the second number, land on it the second time, in this case, 33, and we turn it clockwise to 39. And then you pull, and it should open. And so this took me about 20 minutes to figure it out. So that's how you find a combination to a master lock.